as you want. <laughs> oh, okay. Great. All right. All right. We can uh, do this every week if you want. We can do it every day. I don't care. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see how much Jesus wants to say too. <laughs> oh God, that guy, he loves to talk. Uh, <laughs> um, is there a time like a max, like 20 minutes max or like a time I should ask him to leave? No, I'm going to be hanging out. Just okay. what will happen is he's going to come in mm-hmm. and it pushes me out. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because there's a lot of earth energy beings here as well as angels and Mary Magdalene is here. And, um, so we'll see. Okay. That's wonderful. I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not going to let him talk too long. Okay. Because that's, you know, (laughs) I want to make sure he doesn't deplete me by accident and yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. All right All right great Oh, beautiful child. It is safe and appropriate for you to open your heart, not just to me, not just to what you know to be safe. Open your heart to everything, even that which is dangerous, that which will stomp upon it. For when your heart is open, it can pass through the dangers and beyond. To love not just in connection, in bonding, but to love merely because something exists. There is no need to fear anything. Not when you know you are a being of love and you are existing in your state of love. Not when you are offering love that others may accept it, be repelled by it, appreciate it, or devalue it does not matter for you are in love. You are in love with self, love with the possibilities, love with all that is good, love with all that is. The difficulty comes not with loving or loving too much, loving too well, but with placing expectations upon the love with hopes beyond realistic parameters. It is appropriate to love, just love and let the chips fall where they might. For when you meter the connection of your love, you inhibit only yourself. Love uncontrollably, love completely, and don't worry how the reactions and the results are around you. Why would you inhibit yourself? Why would you block yourself when you 
are so grand, so glorious. When your love shines, your path is illuminated with that very essence. Your question in your heart is, where is your path? What is your path? You feel you are going in circles, and these circles are burrowing you downward as a drill has pushed you into a place of confusion. It makes you afraid to go forward. But when you are love, and the love light shines, illusion dissipates and your bright, brilliant path reveals itself. You may go forward. Sometimes you remain on your path, sometimes you venture off of it, but your love light will always return you to the true way forward for you. Wow. Jesus, that was very beautiful. Thank you so much for telling me that wonderful message. You have been on this earthly existence. And I, my question for you is, when you were on earth, did you feel discouraged? And what practical ways can we be in touch with our love light to stay on our path? And how can we keep our vibration up while we're on this dense planet? Oh, this is an excellent question. When I was in life, I was often discouraged, often felt rebuked as though I was sliding backwards. Mm. I knew what I was here to do, but I did mm -hmm. not know how I was to do it. Mm -hmm. I knew the expectations upon me, but I did not know who would receive what and how was I, I of all people to be the one to deliver? Mm. It was beyond reason. <laughs> <sighs> when I applied my studies to the expectation of what I knew I must be here for, I floundered. Mm. When I opened my heart and would really look within myself, what do I need to feel complete within myself to go forward of my own volition? I flourished. Wow. You cannot base your life upon expectations. Mm. And you cannot go forward with vast stores of emptiness within you. Mm. Fill yourself. Fulfill your promises to yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you will have the impetus to drive you forward. <laughs> hmm. That's beautiful i'm trying to soak it in right into my heart you know let those words take shape um what would you say for empaths of the world that are here today and you have definitely experienced it i think a lot of people are afraid of opening their hearts, especially the empaths, because they can feel so deeply and you touched so many lives. How would you recommend moving forward with love with an open heart while protecting yourself? Mm. There is no protection for self. Mm. There is only power within yourself. Oh, okay. When you are fully within alignment with yourself, mm -hmm. then you can flow with the unlimited resources of our divine God. Mm. 
And you don't need to protect yourself mm. for you are self. Wow. When our empathic friends see and feel all the pain and the misery and it stops them for they are flowing their energy in the wrong direction. Mm. It is not noble to suffer with others. Mm. There is no nobility with bringing extra pain unnecessarily upon yourself. Mm. Each of us, our lives have enough pain already. To know yourself, to love yourself, to shine with the divine light of existence, of realism. Go forward within your faith. If you do not believe in God, don't shine with God's light. Shine with the light of the stars. Shine with the light of that great bang that created your physical reality. If you love the angels, shine with the angels. If you love earth, shine with earth. When you are with your friend who is feeling morose, and then you become morose, you are not helping your friend. Yes, I see. But when you bring your shining light and remind your friend of their shining light, then both may rise up together and infect others with shining lights. Wow. Jesus, I know you've come here to share a message and you have shared a beautiful one so far, lots of different angles of beauty, but I'd like to find, tell you something I find very beautiful about your existence, an epiphany I've had, that you were one human, one man on this earth who made such an enormous impact. And I find that so inspiring. And maybe what would you say to the, the idea that each one of us could have a similar impact, impact that you had on the planet that brought so much love and joy and beauty, that mm. that's all within ourselves? What would you have to say about um, an idea like that? Well, without question, each person on the planet has within yourself the ability to heal the entire planet with just a thought. Wow. There is no question. I am not singular with this. But I must contradict you. It was not I alone. I had friends, teachers, helpers. I had a constant network of goodness mm. to do by myself would have been an extraordinary task, even mm. for me with my many lives of preparation. Mm -hmm. History has written that it was only me, but yeah. truly in reality, there were many. I was honored to be in the central point of the global grid we created. Ah. But I was not alone. That's fascinating. That really is nice to hear about. There were so many others that were just as influential as you. Mm. And that taught you the lessons too that you needed to learn. That's really, that's wonderful. Absolutely. And I will say this, at the moment when we did create a great wave of healing around the planet, mm -hmm. it, it came in to me and through me, but then out to many others who had agreed to be in this mandala of mm. global healing. Mm. It was always a group effort. Ah, nice. So we have discussed often how humanity needs to come together on our planet right now mm. and i have heard from the conduit from bonita that um you're very interested in grids and mandalas and is there a mandala set up between humanity right that connects all of humanity right now how can we help connect it 
what sort of energies can we tap in to bring love to this planet um, right now? Mm. Beautiful question. Of course, at this time, there were many mandalas mm -hmm. around your planet and through your planet. Mm -hmm. There is a mandala of humanity, which has in many ways broken from the global mandalas. There are mandalas for peace, for healing, for love, tranquility, harmony. It is not necessary for all humans to connect to one singular mandala. Mm. We may each connect to the mandalas that call to us. Mm. In which that way, imagine a great tapestry that has been moth-eaten and worn and dropped and has become threadbare. Mm -hmm. Each artist goes to the section, be they a weaver, or an embroiderer or a cleanser to heal this tapestry. It is the same with the tapestry of our planet. Mm. Find the mandala that calls to you in the now. There may be one, there may be several. Mm. Maybe after a time, a mandala says you thanks to you and you move to another one. Mm. There may be mandalas that you receive healing from to help evolve your healing skills. Mm. I do, I do implore all humans connect, connect with the energy grids, connect with them. For that is a beautiful way to heal our planet. Wonderful. Mm. And the conduit is reminding me <laughs> that she must return to her physicalness. Great. I feel honored to have shared this time with you. I feel honored to have shared this time with you. Thank you so much for coming to speak with me and all of humanity. Blessings upon you, my child, and blessings to all. Thank you. Oh, my word. Wow. <laughs> oh, he adores you. Oh, oh my God. I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh. So oh. surprised by how much that affected me. I haven't grown up in religion or anything. I thought I wouldn't have any, but I'm surprised by how <laughs> touching that was. <laughs> Thank you, Bonita. That was wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I didn't, I mean, I, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even sure if he'd come through, but oh, <laughs> what a sweetheart. Yeah, I was like a little tongue tied and felt really good. not shy, but like uh, bashful with questions to ask, you know, and it was just shocking that I had that kind of reaction, but it was amazing. <laughs> that was really cool. He really enjoyed himself and he sees you like I saw you through his eyes. Uh -huh. He sees you as this golden being of shining light with like oh beautiful God. shimmers and opalescence, you know, like, like uh -huh. the way he sees you, you're so beautiful. You are so oh beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wow. Well, very cool. Thank you. That well, I, I hope we do this again because I yeah. know Jesus had a great time. He loved it. Okay. Him. Yeah. If Jesus is knocking on your door, just let me know. I'll be happy to speak with him. It's no problem. It's a, a blessing. <laughs> well, that was great. I learned a bit too. So thank oh. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Bonita. That was. Oh. Wow. Cool. Oh, I know. I feel. <laughs> so he came through with that met with the met. It felt very personal to me. Mm -hmm. He came that through. Message with was like for you. It was for everyone. Yeah. It was like he was reading your heart. Okay. <laughs>
okay, yeah. Cause it's like, I would think something and he would answer it right away or like, whoa. And so like, which was really cool, but I hope that other people are able to, if you decide to post this or share, I hope other people are able to get something from it too. Cause it was amazing how pointed it felt. So yeah, he does that every time I channel him, he asks, he answers questions before people ask them. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, cool. <laughs> well, listen, have a wonderful night. And yes. We'll talk Yay, again yeah. later. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we're heading to California, so I'll get some sunshine and just oh. preach the beach for and all the nature and everything. I'm I'm excited. So oh that's great. Yeah, wonderful. All right. Thank you, Bonita. I love your family. Thank yes, you. Yes, of course. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.